Welcome back to Rooted Family Devotionals. Okay, we're going to sing Whose Side Are You Fighting On? Feel free to join in however you want. You can sing, you can clap, you can dance. Do what makes you feel happy. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. This month, our theme is All In. This video devotional and the printed devotionals that we send out every week will be following along with this theme. We'll be talking about a few different characters from the Old Testament and seeing how we can apply this concept to their stories. We're going to be talking about King Asa, the prophet Elisha, King Solomon, and the prophet Elijah. For me, when I think of the term all in, I immediately think of the game poker. In poker, when you go all in, you put all your chips on the table. You risk everything you have on the cards in your hand. If those cards beat everyone else's cards, you win your chips back plus the rest of the pot. But if they lose, you are out of the game. It's usually not a great strategy unless you're confident you're going to win. Matthew 22, verses 37 through 40 says this, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. God wants us to go all in for him. He wants all our chips on the table. He wants us to be sold out and devoted to him. The difference is with God, there's no risk involved. You're betting on a sure thing. The Bible is full of characters who went all in for God. We're only going to have time to talk about four of them this month. But one of the first people to go all in for God was a guy named Noah. You can read his story in Genesis 6 through 8. God called Noah to build an ark to save himself, his family, and two of every kind of animal. Because God was going to flood the earth. You see, the people who lived on earth at the time were very wicked. They did not live their lives in a way that honored God or benefited those around them. So God's plan was to start over with the most righteous man and his family that was alive at the time, and that was Noah. But sometimes I wonder, what would have happened if Noah hadn't been all in for God? 
Got any two? Uh, go fish. Oh, I gotta take this. Hello. Hey, Noah. It's God. Oh, hey, God. What's up? Noah, I have a job for you. Okay. What do you need? I'm going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I'm surely going to destroy both them and the earth. Oh, ouch. How are you going to do it? I'll send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. Hang on. I don't know, God. The forecast looks pretty nice. Are you sure about that? The rain will come in 75 years. Oh, why are you telling me now then? I need you to build an ark out of cypress wood, make rooms in it, and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. 300 cubits long? That is a big boat, man. That's going to take me like 75 years to build. Yes, I know. Okay. Why does it need to be so big? You are to bring into the ark two of every kind of creature, male and female, to keep them alive with you. Two of a kind? Man, that's a full house. What are we going to do with all the poop? How will we keep the lions from eating the gazelles? Do we need to worry about the fish, or will they be all good? Wow. I'm sure glad that Noah was devoted to God and obeyed him. We may not be here today otherwise. This month, we're going to look at four other men who were all in for God. So be sure to join our Rooted Family Devotionals Facebook group so that you can stay up to date on all of the weekly devotionals that we send out. Our hope and our prayer is that these resources can be great conversation starters for your family and help you to grow more rooted in God. Yeah, we're going to pray for all the families watching this, um, so pray along with us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today and every day that we get to be here, God. Thank you uh, for us. We have a lot of beautiful snow out. Um, I pray that all the families are staying safe in whatever weather they're getting. God, we are so grateful to be able to have devotionals with you and to talk to you and to worship you as a family. I really pray that all um, the families watching this are encouraged by your scriptures, God. I pray that we can all grow in being all in. I know for our little family that we want to be all in together, all in with praying and reading scriptures, God that we want to um, be good examples to our kids every day so that they can see that we are all in for you. Um, I pray that for all these families, that as parents, we can be such great examples uh, for our kids to follow. God, I pray that you will show yourself to us more and more. Thank you for last month, us learning about um, your vision and for us just growing vision for you and relationships yeah. with you. We pray that we can grow stronger and stronger in our faith each day. We love you and we pray this all in your son's name. Amen. 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 Do you want to pray, bud? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Amen. Amen. Good prayer. Okay, we'll play with the guitar now. <laughs> 